Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I made her to go with the rest of my set and I know this request came a long time ago, so sorry, but uh, it was a bit of a challenge. This took about four times, five, five attempts to get her to my liking, but I think she came out okay. So let's stop talking. We're going to start making. We need some kind of purple. If you've got a pinkish kind of color, we can have those for the suspenders and the belt. Black for the boots. If you want to use the pink for the boots, that's also an option. We've got blue. We've got a little bit of silver or gray, also optional. And for the eyes, I'm using a couple of black beads, but black bands will do as well. And the last thing, I'm going to bring this a little closer. You can see on the face, I've used a very slightly darker blue for the middle. If you have two shades of your blue, that's, that's awesome. It'll give that contrast effect that you see in the show. And you know, the last thing I know I said, I'd stop talking here, but one more thing is if you want the legs to be a little bit shorter, you can take off one set from the boots or from the legs. Otherwise, let's grab our hook. We're going to start with the, we'll start with the legs. So we're doing uh, for the boots, two black bands. You're going to put them onto the end of your hook and twist one, two, three times. And pull this onto two black bands. Now, if you are trying to save, um, reduce the volume of bands you're using, pretty well everything I do where I've done three or four bands together can be done with only two. Um, when I add the band, it's more for thickness. You're going to take a single, put it on the end, wrap it around one, two, three, or four times. Okay, so that was two bands wrapped, pulled onto two bands, a single wrapped, replace. The, the other side of that last piece you were working on and we're going to put this onto two black bands. Edge of the hook, slide it over, try and keep them in order if you can. And replace. Even it out a little bit and we're going to take a single black, stretch it, twist it, bring it back around. Sorry about that. And put it on and slide through. And I'm putting that doubled over band because that's what gives a little bit of um, a bend to the foot. Now again, that's optional. You can leave that part out and just have a straight leg. That's okay too. Um, and now we're gonna have five sets of double black bands. So take two blonde bands together, put them on the end, slide it through. If you want your leg a little bit shorter than mine, you could have three sets instead of two. I missed a call there. I hope it isn't important, but you can wait. This is more important right now. Two, three, and four. I'm trying to grab them here. There we are. And we're going to switch to purple and we're going to do the same thing with purple. So take two purple, put them on the end and I have a total of four sets of double purple. So that's one, two, three, four. And here I may want the legs to be a little bit thicker, so you can keep doing two at a time. I'm switching to three bands for the next three sets. So three bands together on the end, slide it through. And three bands. And three bands. And then I did a set of four. 
once more totally optional you can keep the legs um, narrower if you want I was trying to get more of the more of the curves that she has because especially like bearing in mind that she's wearing those the tight like yoga pants so that's the effect I was going for there's our foot boot leg and feel free to make adjustments there as you like we'll do the other one I'm gonna go a little bit faster here we're taking two black on the end of the hook one two three times pull onto two black bands place one to um, to twist on it in the middle one two three four and replace onto two bands and slide down and a doubled over single in the black or other or alternate blue boot color Four sets of, where do we go here? Four sets of double black bands. So we're gonna take two and bring it on and repeat that three more times. And then we switch to purple for four times. Again, sets of double bounds or two together each time. Two, three sets, four sets, three sets of three come next. Or for you, it might be only two, that's also totally fine. That's three of them, and another three, and another three. We got cats at Switcher. You're hearing our Paisley in the background. And four bands together. I'm really wondering, this is, is this the second video I've done with cats, or the first one? You might see one wandering through the background. Take two purple bands. Put it on the end of the hook, slide both legs over, and you can leave this where it is or put it onto a holding hook for the time being. And I'm just gonna push it down out of my way and we'll start on the arms. So I did my two arms a little bit differently from each other. As you can see, one's got the silver. So we're gonna try to replicate that. Um, for one arm, we're gonna take a blue band this is my lighter blue, not the darker middle of the face blue. Wrap it three or four times onto the hook. I think I'm gonna do one more wrap because this one's a little bit stretched out. And we're gonna take our purple, purple shade and four sets of doubles. So two at a time, put them on, bring it through. And again. And again, and one more time. And then this is gonna go into five sets of double blue bands. So take two at a time. I said five, right? That's right. So once, twice, thrice. Two more times. Hmm. So yeah, that's our one side. Pretty straightforward. Now, if you want, you can take a single purple and we'll give a little stretch, put it over the palm, twist it, and bring it back over 
And one more time, you can sort of roll it to right where that blue starts. That just makes it a, a neater looking uh, space at the rest. A little more like a glove. Okay, the other arm. Oh shoot, I had, a, I had a suspicion. I don't think I wrote down what I did, but we can see it and I know it starts the same way. So we are going to start with a, I wonder how I did do that. Oh, we'll figure it out. Okay, a blue single wrap one, two, three, or four times onto two purples. The first part's going to be the same. And let's do another three sets of double purple, so a total of four. So it's two, third one, and fourth one. The next one is going to be two blues, two of our light blues together. And I can see what I've got here. So if, if you have a silver or gray and you'd like to at this point, you can take two of those. Put them on the end, slide it through. And for the next two sets, I did one blue and one silver. And that gives it the effect of, um, that makes the effect of look, making it look like it's sort of cyborg, part flesh, part robot, part metallic. You can see there. And the same thing, one silver, one blue. And I think, I'm going to have one more look here. The top one is going to be two silvers together. Okay, so our arms are done, our legs are done. We can move on to the loom. I've just got it in my standard offset configuration. If your loom is all in a straight row, um, you'll just have to kind of kind of count, um, re reconfigure the placements based on you know, if these are one down, you'll just go all sideways. But if it isn't, if it's manageable for you to have your loom in the offset, makes things easier, you can follow along. We're gonna start with the little black neck piece, two black bands, top center to the second down on the center. And we're gonna switch to purple, come down two bands, second center to the second right and repeat it in the opposite direction. Um, okay, we're gonna come down once on each row with the double purple bands or two at a time, starting at the second pegs down. And then I'm gonna give you an option for the next, uh, the next little bit here. Okay, so from the, on the sides, from the third to fourth pegs, you can use two bands, or you can use six to eight bands. And what this, what this does, I feel, is it's gonna make the, the chest torso area a little bit rounder, um, give, her, give her more of a chest. So I'm gonna do what I did in my original there, which is to place six bands on either side. Three. four, five, and six. If you feel like that's gonna be too much to loom or you're saving your bands or you're not interested in, in getting that effect, you can leave that out and just do two there. And the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six in the middle, and we're going to have a total of six sets of double purple. We've got the first one down, so we'll come down from the third to the fourth. Two, three, and again, four, five, six. And on either side, we need three more sets of double purple bands. I'm just gonna 
put these down and then I'll turn it sideways and I'll give you the count again so we can make sure we're all at the same place here. I'm a little surprised my cats haven't come to, to photo, photo bomb or video bomb my video here. Okay, so on the middle row, we are at the eighth, ending at the eighth peg from the top. And on either side row, we're at the seventh peg from the top. There's nothing on the top two side pegs. So that's looking good. Um, next thing, we can put our, our suspenders on. Okay, so for that, you're gonna take, if you have another color and you wanna put this on, Take two, stretch it from the top, or sorry, the side, second peg, down and around to the seventh peg. So I put it on here and here, and it's gonna sit on the side of all the others. And then on the close side, same thing, place it down, stretch it sideways. And these are really cheap bands I've got on this part. Unfortunately, they were snapping all over the place when I was trying to design this and I also, I came up with um, a strategy, uh, a strategy to try for getting the belt on and, and that did not work, but it would have been cool if it did. Okay, um, arms, we're gonna put the one with the silver onto the side closest to you or the left side of the loom if you're looking down at it. Now, if you don't care which, where the arm ends up, that's fine. Um, I specifically, Actually, I specifically wanted it to be on the right side and then my piece got flipped around. So maybe, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna put it on the other side. I wanna see, see how this works. Things got a little bit turned around when I was finishing up because I ended up putting on the body backwards. So I just have to remember to, to replicate that part, I think here. So yeah, if we put this on backwards again, it should end up on the correct side. Um, I'm gonna put the blue on the left side. Once more, you might not you might not care which side has which arm. You can can decide. Um, but this way, this should end up the silver one on the right side, I believe. Okay, we're gonna take the bands that have the legs, release the side that's closest to you and put it onto the seventh peg down on one side. Bring it across to the seventh peg down on the opposite side. And you can use your hook or your fingers. And get the band from between the legs. I'm gonna try and separate it with your hook and bring one section of it over the center sixth, sixth peg down, seventh peg down. Okay. So that looks good to go. We just need some holding bands and we'll be ready to loom up the body. We've got a single purple band going across the third pegs from the top. We're gonna make a little triangle. If your loom is in the standard rectangular position, it's gonna be more of a line across, but that's fine. The next two sets, if you can handle it, um, take a single purple still, stretch, twist, bring it across. This is gonna keep everything nice and tight there and repeat on the one below. And then a single. Huh. Okay. And is what we have single double double single and we can start to loop up so I'm gonna do the middle first but I'm gonna stop when I get to the second peg from the top so reach between the legs for the peg the bands that are on the eighth peg down bring it forward push back the bands holding the legs and get your next one and bring it forward and continue up till you get to that second peg from the top now the reason that I'm starting with the center is because there's a little, gonna be a little more tension on the sides. And this way, if I have to loosen something up, this part will already be in place and nothing's gonna come loose. 
Okay. Um, we're going to make sure that those pinkish ones are out of the way. And we're going to be reaching into the, into the peg, pushing back the bands to get to the bottom two, and scooping those up and over, and they should be purple, and nothing else should be coming off. On the next one, we're going for those bottom two bands again. You can pull them out to the side if you need to, and you have a holding band to push out of the way. And you can bring that forward and continue to do this until you get to the arm bands. Oh, um, I should mention, I'm come across it here myself, when you, if you've got these six bands, you can loop them up a couple at a time, one at a time, or you can try and get all of them if you're a little more ambitious. And if you need to pause the video to do that, totally fine. And when you get to the arm, push back, get the bands, uh, the two purple bands that are coming from that center, um, center second peg, and bring them back over to where they came from. So those are the ones that are going to meet the most bottom, the, the bottom most. And I'm going to take off the bands from the left side up until about the second peg from the top. Because as I said, this can get a little bit tense and these bands I have like to, like to pop off. Okay, we're going to repeat this on the other side. So I'm going to be looping up the other side and I'm only going to be trying to collect those purples. So let me move my pinks out of the way and find the bottom two purples. And that's what I'm going to be reaching for. And bottom two purples and anything else that's in the way, which would mainly be holding bands, push them out to the side. We can take off a couple more pegs since we've started looping up here. And I've got my six bands, push back the holding bands and bring those six over. Reach inside for the next two. And reach inside, get the bottom two purples, loop them to the middle. go to that second peg from the top in the center where we left off and you're going to loop up once and twice more the blacks on the last one and now you can get this off your loom just hold on to the black ones on the top center peg those ones we are holding everything together so make sure you keep a hold of that So you can see the suspender part is sort of sitting at the side here. Um, if you have anything loose, you can tidy it up. If you want to try and bring it over the arms, you can do that, the suspendery parts. So let me pull them up from the side and bring it up over the arms. We're going to kind of push and adjust a little bit. All right. and. I'm just gonna leave the body the way it is for the moment. Well, now we can put on our we can put on our belt piece here too. I'm taking four of that pinkish color and I'm just gonna bring it up over the legs. And let it sit right in the middle, right where those pink bands are kind of finishing. Um, these are all curled up together, so let's separate them a little bit. If you want it thicker, you could do five. That's fine too. So let's go back to the loom. We're going to do the head, which is actually pretty fast and easy. I used three black bands on my top center. You can get away with two. It doesn't make a huge difference. Just, uh, again, a little more thickness. And on the center, I'm coming down three times with my slightly darker shade of blue. Double bands. And on either side, three sets of double bands of the lighter blue. So the same blue that I used on the arms. Oh, sorry, that goes outwards first. 
and then down three times. Other side. A lot of these ones are really stretched out. I'm just bear with me while I pick out the good ones. Come back to the middle with double bands from the side fourth to the center fifth. That's still with the light blue. Doubled over single band across the second peg down, second pegs down from the top, also light blue. And these are the only darker ones, so the ones coming down the middle there. And another doubled over single your fourth pegs down so that's just above the chin I've left this one blank for the moment here now uh, well a couple of options but let's put the body on first now let me just think here okay so this was uh, I have to turn this around in my head here so this went on this way it should go on this way uh, I'm gonna take my hook out and put it back from the opposite direction. You can use your finger for this as well. And I'm gonna do it so that the left side is still on, is on the left side here. Or sorry, the silver side is on the left side. And we're gonna transfer these black bands onto the fifth peg down in the middle. Like so. See, now this probably should actually look the same face-wise on either side, but I, I found that I wanted this side to be on the top, so I think this works better this way, but we'll, we'll play this by ear here. Okay, for the eyes, three options. If you've got black bands and you wanna use black bands, wrap single one, two, three, another single one, two, three, pull it onto a doubled over single blue. I'm gonna show you these three methods really quickly. Stretch it from the third peg down to the third peg down on the opposite side. Separate, just like with the legs, and put your band over that third peg down. So that's with bands. Option two, if you have large black beads that um, are large enough to fit onto uh, onto your hook, and I don't have, I don't think I have any here handy, but I'll show you with one of these ones here. If you've got a larger bead, you could put it straight on, and you would put your second one on. Same thing, doubled over single blue. Attach it to the third and the third. Separate pull one part of the band over that third center. And the last method, which is what I'm gonna do here because I really like the way these little um, little round ones look. So strange, are these the ones I took out even? Hmm. Okay, so if you've got um, smaller beads, you can also do this trick with a piece of dental floss or needle and thread or thin wire. Pop your floss through one of the beads and then through the other. And it's gonna go through a doubled over single blue band. You can use your hook to help if you need. And then it's gonna come back over and back through from the opposite direction. going to pull until oops pull until it goes on to that band and then 
attach it, transfer it to the same peg. So this is a little bit dicey. Give me a second to put this on here and I'll hold it up for you to see. I just don't want to let go. Well, there's so much tension on the bands. And it might be time for a hook for a hook assist. There we go. And then you can take your floss out. So whatever kind of eyes you did, they are going to go to the same place. Third peg down, third peg down. And whatever kind of eyes you're going to get between them, put your hook through and put a part of that band over that third peg down in the middle. Okay. I think we are, I think we're all ready to loop up. And then we'll tidy things up and we will be done. Now, if you feel like the it's hard to get around the body here, you can bring it down so that it's sitting over the peg below. I'm just going to hold it here for a minute. And we're going to reach in for the two blue bands that are sitting above all the others. In my case, they're coming from the left, so that's where they're going to go back to. Nice, clean... A nice clean shape there. We'll reach in again and get the next two light blue and bring them to the further farther away or right side and I'm gonna loop up my two blues and we can relax on that body there. On either side we're gonna reach through get the bottom two bands and bring them forward and repeat. Push back the bands with the eyes and your holding bands. And loop up inwards towards the center. Other side, same thing. And one more time. To the middle. Oops, that wasn't supposed to come off. Last thing. Back to the fourth peg down in the center and loop straight up three times. And just watch for those eyes, otherwise it should be smooth going. And you can take a single black band, get it ready on a couple of your fingers, push your hook through the bands on the top center peg. And I like to do this with the open part pointing away from me. And then we're going to grab that band. And when I pull it up through, I'm going to start turning the hook so that the open part is pointing up. We'll put the other side on and pull one over the end and over the end of the, um, the top of the hook there. You can hold this or put it on a C-clip or on a hook and release the bands carefully from the loom. without stretching my bands out too much more. Not, sometimes that happens as well. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think this is the side I want. Decide which side you want to have as your front and we're gonna try to tighten things up at the back. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the back side now my hook under a couple of bands and bring that holding band under and through. Put it on a C-clip. If you've got any loose bands you can uh, again weave them in or put them on C-clips as well. As I said some of mine are a little more stretched out than I'd like them to be so um, it's gonna Try to tighten things up a bit. And to do that, I take my loose threads or my loose bands and pull them under bands that are a little more tightly situated. You can also give a little tug adjustment from the back, and that'll sink it in. Okay, our belt is where we want it. Suspenders are where we want them. I think. 
yeah, I think our Gamora is all done. So I'm going to move the camera, bring it a little closer to show you here. And I thank you for watching. Uh, I'll put this on the Guardian's watch uh, playlist, and I hope you get a chance to check some of them out. Okay, take care, guys.